Tini Tatari Nade K Evam Kishuso K Ketan and Leveris, which you should you wonder me toss the Kesa toss Jetini, Chush Yiko Sukins. So first I'll just say a few words in sort of uh yeah before beginning the before beginning the teaching proper. Tene <laughs> Nangusare, Tim, Lomba Solayan, Torsum Ginyam Lente, Mara Pelju, Churchit in the UN Serete, Tene Kusi Matene, the Gombazone, Tesum to Majore, Teti in the Gana, Tati Gitchugi, Tene, Dorsum Down, Tene, Dujum Gitter in Bakanshi, Latine, Lama Dujis in Biginam Lenchi, Go to Satine, Kung Tu Goma Nashiki, and Lomas of Kamazi Apore, Tetin Dejima, Yam Lenchi, you can have a good two Latin Shadi, Mala Shops and Redus. So I've come here at the invitation of Ivam Institute, this Dharma Center. And the reason that Ivam invited me was because of the connection between Chalit Rinpoche and Dongsi Chinli Nobu Rinpoche. So in the previous Kyabgyan Chalit Rinpoche, um, spent time and received teachings from Dongsi Chinli Nobu Rinpoche, who is also one of my gurus. And uh, in, in particular received from him the ritual for Vajrasattva practice, and um, I'm told that he then spread this to his, taught this to his students, and had the intention to you know, spread and propagate the practice of this Vajrasattva ritual, which is a, a teaching from the Dujum Tessa lineage. Um, and because then the students at Ivam Institute, um, Trilik Rinpoche having passed away and not being physically present with us anymore. Um, they wished, or rather you wished, um, to find a teacher who held this same lineage, the Dujum Tersa lineage, and the lineage and transmission for this specific Dujum Vajrasattva practice, so that you can continue to practice it, to spread it, and uphold it, um, which is a wonderful aspiration and a wonderful initiative on your, um, from your side. So that's why I was invited, and that is why I'm here. Tinde <laughs> From my side, I am of the lineage of Dujum Tessa, that is my lineage. Um, I also received all of the empowerment and transmissions uh, of the Dujum Tessa from Dungse Chilinova Rinpoche himself, um, so including the empowerment and transmission of the specific Vajrasattva practice you, you, you guys practice here. On top of that, I also received from him many other Vajrasattva transmissions and empowerments from Nakama, and the Terma traditions and so on. Um, not only did I have I received those transmissions, but I also have been able to do retreat on those practices um, and to complete retreats on this yeah on these various Vajrasattva practices and to fulfill the uh, retreat requirements according to time, amount and so on. <laughs> Massive chicken around Gundu, and the Dorsum gave each of us in the end to the Catalus Mujuki, Chava Dubati, Taparjing at the end of Yus, Dorsum Marangi, the Nam Sojins. So I did a, a, I completed a year long retreat on Vajrasattva, just focused on Vajrasattva. Um, and in addition to that, I do practice Vajrasattva, uh, the concise liturgy, concise practice for Vajrasattva every day. That's one of my daily practices. So Vajrasattva is one of my uh, main practices and main Yidam deities. Mm-hmm. 
Quando è arrivato, ha detto che 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 ha e non è che non si può fare nulla, 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 ドルスムゴワンデネスルムジアンドルスムギニャバタンゴエソテレケジマリスマランギュンドテイタムチケテイデカナケナンバラテンワンダンイエディチェカトウテタンアナシウユンデンシウヨマレテイニカナユンデン
Lamadan gumbo jambi yanlan zanzalo, gangi lucu itu mih cenderung kita nam dara dari lecik mih itu kan cerita tu jangan kita tu kalau lek bangsing, kan dah cepat jalan mari ke mantum tu malik kita lepas tu so kan dah pergi dari sini lah cuci yang tiang sonto dari cuci yang monyet lawan lagi satu tu mari ke mantul tu malik yang kau cuci mih cuci rata nam tu nanti dah cuci dah cuci dah cuci yang tiang tu so kita sedih tu kau cuci dah cuci dah cuci yang tiang Dahulu mesti ni jambi yang lara abdu, abdu. Om mara baza na de, om mara baza na de, om mara baza na de, om mara baza. Om mara baza na de. Zaten ki ki inkar baba sen ki dahulu ki mu mu bara zaten ne kadar zaten şu şu dokuayı lütfü basıyor nava ki do do. Vaan zaten ki devi ki rujun ki dan tuji londo ki bütün ayan nerede tam bir bir bütün ki ki kopya çok oldu londo ki bütün mevzu ki jala ki jalan da. Çıdır gelmezse o işi var lan altı çöpü olan köşe. Sen o pazar dünyanın rüngü cimmi çöküyor onu bırak ki can zarar. Lütfen cembeli çöpü çöpü bir gombil onu yapıp bir dere getir olan da çöpü gelsin olan ki. Mi hem cemi anam gel hazır olan de. En cimmi ki yemeğe yoğun çöpü gelsin de onu yiyen dostlar ve yiyen çöpü bir yemeğe çöküyecek. Bal den lama çöpü hazır olan de. On serin zinle den dört yedir ama on deyicek mi bal daya yer tasapın çöpü gelsin çöpü mü? Jikri shi tu che la ke chan sa ho ho Shin che kun chin lik che ma yu san rong sun che san yi shi ki me ko Shupe ma chuin kya ptar ngur shi ba tsung me la ma cho la ke sa ron sa Bi ma me ta san chin tu ve kong ko me su chan tong ar ke sa Mi se pa pi tar ngan ta ve se sung me pal din la mar ke chan sa Sung me pal din la mar ke chan sa Na mar me to yi shi kong ha wa chi ra ngi ke tu che ki ro Durci lungi rama gyalsa ngui tun li nirvi shakla kwe cha antara shu min chiki yinki pata na cha sun san chikun chik ngu yi ra kun shukun ngu tu tun zibi Sa vi la mi shakla kwe cha antara sa shi buji chuk chik me tata ngu rao lung shi ngin te kien ba te san ke shing da mik te pur vari ndu kwe nam ta jian da shi ba E tam guru rat na man de la puja mi kang sa man da sa pa rang na sa ma ya ahu ngu yi chik min kira sa mpun de pal vi chan chung lang da pat chit mi chung chit tu sun tri chik kong ba to ba Chip ba min chori chivara min ni shi nam ka dang yam bin do nam do la re vi do sim che nam ki sam ba dang do yi cha cha chit da wara chit chong chit ma hong te ba Chui ki in ko lo ko lo do so Ha man gin do wa nam ki ta dang yam bi sim che nam ki nam ki la nam me ba yang ta pur zo pi sang ki ye ko pong alam bo cha la chi ni kyan ko pur cha Di tun do chu sam mong ting yi se na kyan yam so long re ki wo yam bi te ne Ko lo nam bar ta pi ko ni te ne sam bar shi us Please now generate the heart of awakening, bodhicitta, the supreme motivation, which is to think, I will establish all mother sentient beings who are limitless in number as the expanse of space in the, uh, at the state of supreme unsurpassable enlightenment. And in order to be able to do that, I will now engage in the sublime dharma. Hindi di kanata cho kanri zi nyan ba yi naan da di ne kunong dang kun jyo sikin di pe kye chen bure ta ma shi kyan la ma sang bu gu la ma yi di kanla di ne kyan so tam jya la di ya po tovi kire di cho shi vi ne kap su kunong di raan chi ku sang ki ko bong rupo chi tov ki tang ne gop ki chik ki chik ki sa mi ki po tang di ho hong chi chi ku sang ba tang na ni di cho di na pra ta ba jim go ma re jik ten pe cho di ku cha to re cho yal du sikin di po tang su lo tam jya raan ki sa mi ki kunong ki kebra jen to sha wa yin di Ni taye bi sem jen tam je pama ma giro en chik ya me pama giro en ting chen bu sha da yin te da tam je sang ki ko bong rin bu chik ko bar cha nye pe ki kulon di yi tine kulon na bar di tine chang chuk bi sem musik en di tine chui shi wi ne kap su yang go gare la o ya cha sar wi ne kap su yang go gare cha kan dun bi kap su yang go gare bu mja wi ne kap su yang tam ju yin nang ata na sam ba chang chuk bi sem ji sem ba di tine tang shu ti ke chen bar es our motivation and our conduct are extremely important. No doubt you're all aware of this because you're all students of a genuine guru, ex excellent gurus. Um, but to repeat, our motivation is extremely important because um, it's our motivation that you know, sets the direction or the course uh, for our actions. If we engage in, say, listen to a Dharma teaching, uh, just with short-term uh, temporary goals, um, like gaining um, temporary happiness, uh, temporary peace of mind, um, mundane uh, benefits like that, then the whole activity will just become mundane and worldly, no more than that. 
That being the case, it's really important that the, at the outset of listening to a teaching, um, but likewise, not just when listening to teachings, when engaging in any Dharma practice, whether, say, you're making prostrations, say, you're uh, meditating, say, you're uh, making circumambulations, whatever, it's so vital to proceed that with bodhicitta, the correct motivation. This means that we think sentient beings are limitless in number, and all of these sentient beings have at some point been my mother. They've shown me extraordinary kindness. And to repay that kindness, I will establish all of them at the state of perfect enlightenment, free of suffering. In order to be able to do that, I will now engage in this Dharma practice or study or whatever it might be. Uh Mobile <laughs> Lamala <laughs> Tidakoko, So that's the motivation. Then we have the conduct, right? Um, so there's a lot we could say about conduct, like um, in the scriptures, uh, it's taught that we should be free of the three faults of the vessel, um, be rid of the six stains and so on when listening to the teachings, or indeed when engaging in any Dharma practice. Um, but in short, uh, our, the conduct that we should adopt when listening to the Dharma teachings is that we should be careful to remain alert, not fall asleep. Um, we should be careful not to be disrespectful to the teacher and to others. Um, we should pay attention and be focused. So we shouldn't, for instance, talk at any point during the teaching. We shouldn't uh, you know, look at our phone, engage in distraction, um, send messages or anything like that. We should just remain focused, respectful and alert throughout the entire session. Um, with our mind free of afflictions, free of emotions like anger, jealousy, and so on, just focused in a pure and humble way on the teachings. Um, Buddha himself said in the sutras, um, listen attentively and I will teach you. So he was referring there to the conduct that a student should adopt during a teaching session. So in short, we should listen um, just like a deer listening to noise. A deer listens really poised and focused to noise, right? So we should listen to a Dharma teaching in that way. 
um, but are also taught that uh, one should pay respect to the teacher, whoever, the, whoever is sharing the Dharma, one should pay respect to them and uh, express that respect by, for instance, not uh, sitting at a level higher than them and so on. Of course here some of you are seated on chairs, this is how it is these days. Some people have knee problems or back problems and you, you can't sit on chairs. And also just, I know in, in modern culture, we don't have the habit of sitting cross-legged, so that's fine. But the point is that one should adopt a very humble attitude towards the teacher, uh, free of any negative emotions, and listen with respect. And like I said, for the motivation, um, this also applies to other act acti Dharma activities like making mandala offerings, prostrations, whatever, the same conduct applies. Um, you might think, why is this teacher saying this? Like, who is he? Why should I respect him, you know? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not saying any of this with reference to myself. Um, there is no me in this. I'm actually just quoting what Buddha himself said. You might also think, oh, well, this is just the Tibetan tradition, how they do it. But it's nothing to do with Tibet or Tibetan culture. This is actually based on Buddha's own statements that you can find in the sutras, in the scriptures. Um, this is the basic Buddhist conduct that we should adopt when listening to teachings. Um, I've come here at your invitation, right? I've come here all the way to Australia at your invitation, and you invited me to teach the Dharma. Um, and you are here yourself to listen to the Dharma. So it's important that I do my job properly uh, so that you can benefit accordingly, right? Um, yeah. Uh, otherwise, if I kind of compromise uh, my explanations, compromise what I say, um, then it could end up just being like entertainment, you know, just like watching TV or watching a movie. And what would the point in that be? Merci. Well, <laughs> Oyatine so that was um, an extremely concise explanation of the motivation and the conduct, so please keep those in mind. I'll now begin the explanation of the nine yanas, which is our kind of subject proper for uh, today's session. So you might think, well, why are we discussing the nine yanas? What, what is the importance uh, of this, um, of, these, of these nine yanas, or nine vehicles, we could say, in English? Um, the purpose of, of the nine yanas, or of studying the nine yanas, is to come to understand, sorry, the purpose of the nine yanas themselves is to understand the natural state of things, the natural state of phenomena which is what we need to do, right? We need to come to understand the natural state of things. And in order to do that, we need the nine yanas, the nine vehicles. The, the peak or the top uh, of these nine yanas, um, the ultimate of these nine yanas is Zogchen, the great perfection. And in order to understand that, uh, Zogchen, the great perfection, which teaches the ultimate state of all things, the ultimate view, then we need to understand all the nine yanas in their entirety. Uh, without an understanding of a comprehensive understanding of all of the vehicles, the lower vehicles included, we won't be able to understand the great perfection. Um, we need to understand the lower vehicles, um, what they teach, so that we can thereby see the, uh, the special features, the unique qualities and the subtleties of the great perfection view and approach. Um, so this is the reason why we are 
looking at the nine yanas, this topic. Oh, mm-hmm. Did Tell Tinetinanshinke um, the, uh, at the center here, you requested me to teach this specific text, a specific text by Padmasambhava called A Garland of Views, which is a summary of the nine vehicles. It covers all nine vehicles from the first up to the ninth. Um, and I was a little um, yeah, hesitant uh, to accept because, not because I haven't taught this text before. Um, I have. I've taught it at least four or five times at the monastery. Um, and I have the transmission, the oral transmission, and also the transmission, we say, like the oral transmission and teaching transmission. I have both of those. So it's not that I lack the confidence to teach the text itself, but it's the time frame to teach this profound text. Um, it's, at, it's more than 30 pages long. And uh, the subject matter is extremely profound and vast. So to teach it just in two days, in two sessions, I thought, how on earth will I do that, you know? Um, so that was my, my worry. Um, I thought, oh, maybe, we'll, maybe I could just give you the lung, you know, the oral transmission, um, and then you'd have the lung. But then, of course, having the, the, the lung, the oral transmission is good, but, you know, to go to all of this effort for me to come here and you to arrange and just do that, not so beneficial. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I've decided to do, is over these two days to base my teachings on a garland of views, this text by Pamasambhava, um, to, and based on the text, give you an overview of the essential, crucial points of the nine yanas as taught in this text. Um, I think this will be beneficial. You'll, by s- condensing all the vital points, they'll be more easy to understand and keep in mind. It's also possible within the time frame. And it'll give you then a kind of key, we could say, like a key that uh, you can then use to open vaster knowledge in the future if you wish to, because uh, the text itself and also the commentary are now translated and available in English. So if you're interested to study in more detail, you can, in the future, look at those. And having received my explanation today and tomorrow, um, you'll have a good basis and grounding um, to understand those more detailed explanations. And you can, you can see, oh, do the texts themselves match with what, with what I taught or not, and so on. Um, so that is my plan, and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. The ga- so, as I've said, this text, A Garland of Views, is um, an explanation of the nine vehicles, and it itself is based on the Guyagaba Tantra. 
When Guru Mshe or Pamasambhava was in Tibet, um, he taught the Guyagaba Tantra extensively many, many times. Um, and he taught in Tibet for many years. But when he was leaving Tibet, uh, he had a doubt. Um, and his doubt was, oh, he had, he had a concern that in the future, even though he taught the Guyagaba Tantra very extensively and many times, that, that those teachings might decline. And so out of love for his students, the king and his heart disciples and other followers, and uh, also students of the future, then he, then he put together this text, excuse me, a garland of views, which summarizes very succinctly all of the essential content of the Guyagaba Tantra um, into just a few pages um, to prevent those, the day to, yeah, to prevent those teachings uh, falling into decline and potentially getting lost. Um, so this composition was written out of love and concern by Guru Mushe. Um, yeah, just knowing that the Guru Gaba Tantra is so vast and so profound, its extensive version is eight volumes long, and there are many other uh, volumes of teachings on it. Um, so out of concern that it would, people, his disciples just wouldn't be able to uh, yeah, can uh, accommodate those teachings, then he gave us this text. Um, and this text, this profound text, in which he condenses uh, all of that content into a method whereby one can attain in a single lifetime and a single body the perfect state of enlightenment. Yeah. Tene <laughs> So, just to reiterate what I said, the, a garland of views was composed by Guru Mshe, uh, based or rooted in the Guyagaba Tantra. Um, and the subject of the Guyagaba Tantra is the nine yanas, all nine yanas. In the 13th chapter of the Guyagaba Tantra, there is a um, uh, several lines which read no understanding wrong understanding partial understanding non-understanding of the ultimately true nature discipline mind secret natural and natural secret the meaning of these are present in the vajra mind of the teacher who perfectly demonstrates them by means of phrases that depend on the assemblage of names so designate, designated by language drawing out the meaning hidden within Tene <laughs> You do something with the 
Um, also, uh, as I've said, the gar this garland of use condenses the meaning of all nine vehicles, gives us a summary of the nine vehicles, and is based on the teachings of the Guyugaba Tantra. The Guyugaba Tantra itself um, is based on or rooted in the magical matrix of Vajrasattva. Um, the Tantra of the magical matrix of Vajrasattva. So this is also a connection with the empowerment that I will give in the coming days, right? Um, if you really want to practice Vajrasattva, go into Vajrasattva in a lot of detail, um, then actually the Guyugaba is, is that. It is a, based on the Tantra of Vajrasattva. Oh,也得听你讲了，讲了，那么看见见了，就讲了，多久先不忘掉个嘞？每个大厅都在说，就讲了，我让什么个人生存哦，按照一万个，那么多大厅生个的，上百家去不，不要讲见，讲了，听你
negup gede waya til kirin jungres lam kene kita ya sabata gachi bi kita wa til kirin jungres thartu gede wa tia tela chuna jungres ti indi kala de gran chuna sem jen tham je nyang to la te thak bi lam la chuna nyen tu gin jo tia thak wal tena to gare ran san ki gin te wot ne de wot tia til tena to gare chan ju sem ki lam ya thak wal tena to bo yare tin ti ti ya uba yoga ma an wa te tham ti te thak wal tena to go indi e kan shunni sen pena shinda sangbutle shunni tin saje telle bangal tan tak marsidi pens de udan red se sarwal sai sigin de garit se kuje shun do gen saje telle bgorwa o petena shin chike tek pas sigin de shamba de o ya ta dil shunni tin saje ram ge distin kawale pan tele to pare titi indi kan la o tin shunju tek pas kan re sna sab ta gechi bila mi re tin ta nyara nyen de sana khorang de lap pe sab ta gechi wei in sagre ram sang ge khorang de lap de sachu ge gechi wei in sagre sem sab khorang de lam gechi wei in sagre de shindu ma anu anu par de khorang lam chik le chik sab in sagre te ai na ya mi chik shena den den ya ta chik ke na jo jo sana jo pe pe chi ta chik ke na ko jo ko de tong wa te shena shena dur na ti jo ko ima hapu ro mi chik ka de ushi ushi na ko ka de ushi ushi do sa jare mi i ene ko de bet chi ke na ti ka de le hapu ro pete na ying tak pat tamji yang we in se wa re de tak pat tamji ge na da da wa da min da we ke par kaandu sane tene she du ki tere te tak we ko ne ke par she wa re tak pat tumin se ge tia na tene ko ta wi ko ne she wa re tak pat tumin se ge tia ta wa ko ne se ta wa tira sa pat da ge che wa ni yo re tere che do ko yin de ka na tene ndo ro ta wa se ko de yin se de tak pat ta wa ko ne tak pat se ge de lam re lam ti ta wi ko ne she ko yo re te du ka na me na ta wi cha wa sane sungu ju ti tres menga se du delik to por che wala menga se menga se gun delik pe le ka u jini ko ki point se ro inji ke na ko ti ti delik ne menga se ve o ya ten tawa se gin ti ni sab da ki achi vi lam gila se ko yo res ta ngin mong bisen ti kere ang kali ma se ti kere perfect lo so um we better get to the actual topic of the nine yanas right So what do we mean? Uh, we have nine yanas, or actually, I think I'll use the English from now on, vehicle, nine vehicles. Um, how do we divide them up? Uh, uh, well, they're divided up into three sets of three. So first of all, the vehicles of the Shravakas, Pratyeka Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, these three. Uh, the second set are the three tan- tantras of Kriya, Upa, and Yoga, those three. And then finally, Uh, the tantras of Maha, Anu, and Ati, these three. Uh, so th- the, uh, altogether, these make up the nine vehicles. What does the word vehicle or yana actually mean? It means path, path or highway. Um, there is a verse in a scripture called uh, Dodupa. It's a very yeah, important scripture. Um, to paraphrase, it says there, vehicle... Um, A so-called vehicle is like space, and it's like an immeasurable palace. So a vehicle, we said a vehicle means a path. Um, And a vehicle, uh, meaning the path, has two qualities, profundity and vastness. So the vehicle or the path is both profound, referring to emptiness, uh, and vast, referring to the Um, ten bhumis and the five paths. Um, so the vehicle is like space in that it is profound, profound uh, meaning profound emptiness, right? Emptiness which is like space. Um, it's also like an immeasurable palace uh, because it is uh, just so um, rich so uh, full of yeah so full of riches uh, and exquisite um, structures um, just like imagine a you know the most beautiful palace or mansion or some of those amazing mansions you see in dubai you know think of them just these beautifully uh, built rooms with extraordinary designs and pillars and beams and murals and uh, gems and you know all sorts of extraordinary Um, sites to be found in those palaces. So a vehicle is like such a palace in terms of its richness of the five paths and the ten bhumis. So just to reiterate, the the quotation says, a vehicle is like space and a vehicle 
is like a palace. This is referring to its a vehicle's two qualities of profundity and vastness. Um, the second line, to paraphrase, reads, uh, vehicles deliver one to temporary and also ultimate happiness. So any of these given vehicles will bring you temporary happiness of uh, yeah, mundane well-being and so on, but also the ultimate happiness of liberation at any given, at the respective state of that vehicle. Um, and this, these qualities apply for all nine vehicles, right? So um, whichever of these nine vehicles you follow, they will deliver you to their respective state of liberation. So whether it be the state, uh, the ultimate state, the ultimate fruition of the Shravaka vehicle, the Prashyaga vehicle, Bodhisattva vehicle, likewise the vehicles of Kriya, Upa, and Yoga, the vehicles of Maha, Anu, and Ati, all of them will deliver you to their respective ultimate state. Um, so in this sense, a vehicle is like a chariot, or we could say in modern terms like a car, but like the best kind of car, like a Mercedes-Benz or a Rolls-Royce Royce or something. Um, these vehicles will take you wherever you want to go. Of course, um, all vehicles, like I said, are profound and are vast, and each vehicle also really kind of, uh, in colloquial terms, kind of talks itself up. Um, but we have a saying in uh, each of them is profound and vast, but that's not to say there aren't differences uh, between them. So the, each vehicle is success, successively more vast and more profound than the other, even though the followers of the given vehicle might not recognize that. We have a saying in uh, Tibet, which is, goes something like, um, an o uh, the owner of their own... Uh, some, a man will say of their own horse that they're the fastest horse around, but that's before they've uh, raced, you know, before they've raced against anyone else, right? Um, so it's a bit like that. <laughs> um, when you do compare the vehicles, you do see differences in their profundity and vastness successively from the Shravaka vehicle up to the Ati vehicle at the top. Um, but in conclusion, um, they all deliver you to an ultimate fruition. Um, and they all are, have their qualities of profundity and vastness. When we compare the vehicles, we need to compare them um, in terms of their view. So we said a vehicle is a, essentially a path, but the path is determined by the view. So when we compare the vehicles, we compare them um, by means of their view. Mengatakan Kansaka Kashisa, <laughs> Michi <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
ayatene kansa ke dame tengla zuma ranshi me pro tobati kama tere serta yan zimba ranshi ma toba di wange ran sanje tian tian toba thar tu bol mari sangore chanju sembe yan chu ke dame tan kansa ke dame ega tore di kama se ya pore sera dia lek bichati tere te ina yan tene thanye tu tene ku tabaram je ma toba tan thanye tu tene kro tanda ina tene kro yang tak kunjung tanpa berkunjung langsung cewi ke uang ki ini umat bayang ini dapat simpatan yang ini sangat tuji tipe tawal tina tarong yang nomor mata baca tewer di nasi tadi brief deh ya minta bagi awak siapa sih deh di nasi cegi anu yokal sama tuan kangsa dia dia tuan yang yang dia upaya yokal sama tuan ayam kongmal ini mata baca rele tuan leg baca rele tuan mata baca ngiri 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 tuan yang dapat simpul lewat di kalau ini tam je leg pak pasi mata ki Ini kian sincik kami, apa nak serikat ini semua nak satu pelbagai sahaja yang minyak nak sincik. Jauh macam tu kita awal itu kan, tak complete korang tu pas chat tu beli. Oh, di ini kan, tak terlalu ribet dia. Cetang di tengah ini macam hakwa na. Oh, jauh macam tu sekarang di kalau kita macam tu ini, yang ini pergi apa ini sekarang ribet dua. Di kian sini tak terlalu gan ya. Ngeri tu asa macam hakwa na. Di kerana soalnya jauh macam tu cetang di ini, ini ke jauh tak lagi. Ije tu mau main begi tu beri. Ije tu mau main begi so na. Tini lam kahang dana, tini lam yang tapa cila judo re. Lam yang tapa judo na, tini jugo sanji ya kubaw ta bila yang, tini kasi bawa syabdes. So, we're looking at this, so Garland reviews this text by Guru Mshay, just to state again, it is a, a summary of the nine vehicles, the nine successive vehicles. Um, it gives us an overview of each of the nine vehicles based on what? Based on the view, right? Based on the view presented by each of these vehicles. So each of these vehicles have a different view. Um, what do we mean by view? Uh, there's a text by Mipam Rinpoche called A Beacon of Certainty. Um, it's also translated in English. Um, and in uh, that text, well, yeah, we won't quote from the text, but um, just with regards to the meaning of the word view, view we can say actually means certainty, a state of certainty or conviction. Um, so to have a view means to have ascertained with conviction a certain outlook, right? And then, and there, thereby you hold a certain view. Um, for instance, um, in the vehicle of Shravakas, the vehicle of listeners, um, the view that they hold is the selflessness of the person, the selflessness of the individual person. They've achieved a conviction in that, uh, that outlook, the fact that the, per the self of the person does not exist, right? So that is their view. Uh, the next vehicle up, the view of pra uh, the vehicle of Pratyeka Buddhas, there they, uh, in addition to having conviction in the selflessness of the person, they also come to um, understand that the uh, perceived aspect of phenomena does not exist. So they have a, a, a greater view. Um, conviction also, yeah, they have this greater view. Um, and likewise, as, we, as you move through the vehicles, up then from the Pratika Buddha vehicle up to the Bodhisattva vehicle and so on, so when we talk about the view, we're basically talking about conviction. So we as practitioners need to develop a conviction in the view of the vehicle that we uh, claim to follow, right? You can meet a lot of people these days who say, oh, well, I practice the great perfection or I'm a follower of Mahamudra. But they're not actually clear about what the view of the great perfection is, what the view of Mahamudra is, and they lack conviction, like an experiential conviction in that view. Until you have uh, like a felt conviction in the view of a given vehicle, you cannot, you don't actually qualify as a follower of that vehicle. Um, so in the case of the great perfection, when do you become a great perfection practitioner? It's when you have, once you have developed conviction in the view of the great perfection. Until that point, you cannot say that you are a follower or a practitioner of the great perfection. When you, um, when you study and come to understand the view of the great perfection, which is the summit of all nine vehicles, um, from that point, uh, you can 
look down, so to speak, and see the views of all of the lower vehicles. Um, and you can come to appreciate how each of them have certain merits, certain excellent qualities, but also how each of them lack certain things as well. So for instance, the Shravaka vehicle, um, what they have is a realization of the selflessness of the person, um, but they lack realization of many other things, right? So that's their kind of virtue, so to speak, but then uh, their deficiency, th then you can identify that they have certain deficiencies. Likewise, the pra Prashika Buddha vehicle, okay, they lack one of the Shravaka vehicle's deficiencies because they come to realize um, that their realization is, is greater than the Shravakas. They realize the um, selflessness of the perceived aspect of phenomena, but um, they don't have certain realizations that, say, the Bodhisattva vehicle does, right? And so on and so forth as you proceed through, say, the Bodhisattva vehicle and up through the outer tantras of Kriya Upa Yoga all the way up to Ati, the summit of the nine vehicles. Um, about the Bodhisattva um, vehicle, so the Bodhisattva vehicle comes after the Pratika Buddha vehicle. Um, they realize the selflessness of both person and phenomena in their entirety. But when it comes to their understanding of relative truth, they have this conceptual division of relative, of, of conceptual division of correct and mistaken relative truth. And from the perspective of the tantric teachings, that is actually a deficiency, that's a misunderstanding that actually separates them that means they're kind of removed from the depth of understanding of the tantric vehicles, um, and so on and so forth, right? Um, once you reach the great perfection, the summit of the nine vehicles, um, you have all of the excellent qualities, so to speak, and you've removed all of the deficiencies. Um, it's a bit like arriving at an island made of gold. If you have an, if you, when you arrive at an island, island made of gold, you're not going to find a single particle of sand, right? Um, that's the quality of the great perfection. And the virtue of studying the nine vehicles, as we are, is that you come to really understand this. Because when you study and you look at all of the view of the nine vehicles, from the first all the way up to the top, only then can you come to understand, by comparison, the qualities of the great perfection, right? Um, it's through comparison that you come to understand its unique features, its special qualities, why it is such an extraordinary vehicle approach and view. And when you really understand that you, and you develop the conviction, which is what we mean by view, right? Then you will not only have confidence um, and resolute faith in the teachings, you'll also have delight, diligence, just naturally in practicing. And as a result, you will traverse very swiftly to the state of enlightenment, awakening, without any hardship. So this is the virtue of uh, engaging in this kind of study. <clears throat> ยุติเทปวัสสิกิติญจุติปะเนรังยะกิเทปวัสสังสุตติปะติยะตุปะมหาอนุกิปะตุเทปวัสสิกิติญจุติปะเนรังยะกิเทปวัสสังสุตติป
Michi Chica Gomeshina, Yijing in Nurujilam Galina, call the shield dozer, the dozer of Zamkaga Sangumari. Most is in Jigitagan, a tin tear in Tanhap, or that day when you get in Tanka Jim and Dilla Pitcher country in the half for it. Petina Shinjig into the singing with another Samjan Tamji Gila Yurte, the singing with Yuna and the singing with the Aranzo Tabujama to the singing with the Ning Aranzo Gumduchima to the Kala, then Chikamal Gesemjan the Chick, but the singing with the Samjan Tamjali Yurte, Pentohoyamari, then to Kala. Tham chicken at the Ninga Ranzo Yamlente Chicuti Tabigin at the Coma for Rally Devore, then to go on the Tower to Covarchevala, Guita got and Duita got taken number in seven and sing Guita was the Tamjan Tartu, so much in Buton, Tokiton, in I am, the Tokyo Union Gumon to Zurmon with Guita, one Calotom among the Sons on the Sanji Gumon Toku, which you tell that. The Cassia Calotom, the Sungi Sanji, the Cassian Kiva Dun, Cassian Kiva Chick, Tatin and Joshua to get in, so much in Yamlenten and Dawson, the Lusum, the Dawson, and I sang it to the song. Tatia, Tamsin at the Chapu Gimarte, Luna Lamti, Tin, Yurmi, Yurchi, the Lamti Sabbath, and Dance on a rocket now drug and do. No, I tend to now drug and I sing a lamke, Jolug, and you said to the Tinder Yuris. We, um, the vehicles can also be divided into causal vehicles and resultant vehicles or fruitional vehicles. And when we, make, uh, when we divide the nine yanas in this way, then we can say that the first eight vehicles, so from the Shravaka vehicle uh, all the way up to the Anu vehicle, so Shravaka, Pratyeka Buddha, Bodhisattva, the three outer tantras, and then Maha and Anu of the inner tantras, all, eight, all of those eight vehicles are actually causal vehicles because they only deliver one to a temporary result. They do not deliver one to the ultimate, final, consummate fruition. Only the vehicle of great perfection does that. So the great perfection alone is the resultant vehicle or the fruitional vehicle. Um, in the lower eight vehicles, so we call them causal vehicles in the sense that there is a process of a, of um, establishing a cause that over time then transforms into a result. There's like a successive, uh, that might not be the best word, but it's a successive process that takes place. Whereas in the great perfection, the vehicle of the great perfection, the, there's no process, so to speak, it's simultaneous. Um, a simultaneous uh, attainment of the ultimate consummate fruition. Um, these points, uh, this and uh, this, these other points, um, we can hear and, and uh, yeah, we, we can hear about them, but we need to ascertain their meaning and significance for ourselves, right? Um, these distinctions rest on the fact that all beings have Buddha nature. All, being, all beings' basic nature is Sukhatagarabha, or Buddha nature, um, self-arisen primordial wisdom. It's because of this that every sentient being, no matter who they are, has the potential to reach enlightenment, the potential to be awakened. Um, it's not the case that the lower vehicles, like the vehicle of the Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, um, lack Buddha nature. That's not the case at all. Um, all all beings, of course, including followers of the Shravaka vehicle and so on, have Buddha nature. It's, uh, there's no doubt about it. This is the basic nature, basic fiber of every single sentient being. Um, however, they have not yet fully realized the presence of Buddha nature. They haven't realized uh, their intrinsic basic nature. And as a result of that, by failing to recognize, then uh, they, have, yeah, they have yet to um, manifest the ultimate fruition. Um, they remain, this is, yeah, as a result of not realizing, then we remain ordinary beings, right? Sentient beings, in spite of it being endowed with essentially in an enlightened nature. You might think, well, how is that possible? You know, if you have something, then surely you should be it. Um, but it's very possible. Think of someone who has a uh, a, precious, a really precious gemstone, but they're not aware of the value of it. They're not actually aware of what it is. They're going to remain poor until they, are, until they realize what they have in their hand, right? So it's just like that with Buddha nature. Um, 
we should also understand that all vehicles eventually do lead one to the ultimate fruition. Um, they do all take, get you there eventually, but they take much, much longer than the vehicle of great, the great perfection. For instance, the, some of the first three vehicles um, of characteristics, the Shravaka, Pratikabudan, Bodhisattva vehicle, for instance, they take many eons or three countless eons at the fastest in the Bodhisattva vehicle. Um, also, several eons uh, is how long it takes in the outer tantras um, and so on and so forth. Uh, whereas in the Great Perfection vehicle, it's possible to manifest the ultimate state of enlightenment within the course of a few months or a few years, or at least within a single lifetime. So. Uh, in terms of the efficacy uh, of the vehicles, you can also see the difference, right? Um, so the Great Perfection vehicle, you could say, is like a rocket, whereas the other vehicles are like different modes of transport. Yeah. <laughs> Tanyam de ba yer mes de ta 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 ni shutam de san jeres ben na ngaran so ge pungungani ye ne de ne kar bara san gelwari ngin go na san ge de yeres dini chilo so na jo nga yer kana astele la sona sa chu meling yer na zo pelo sona sa chu mena yer america la sona zo zo bulin ka wai na ngaran zo tu shi ti sa ta chu dan me dan lung ge tu shi de jo nga yi tu de ke wai zi ngaran zo mi ji lu yin zan ni pungungani yi tu de yer ti dini ye yin bar de yer ti indu kan la Dudu it can help to, um, at the outset of studying uh, sub a certain subject matter, to um, be introduced to uh, kind of the main point, um, the main principle, or the, the overriding principle, which is what I'm uh, getting at now. Um, this is also what we call a kind of, um, yeah, the, the main point or vital point. Um, as I've said, a gar this text, Garland of Views, is based on the Guyagaba Tantra, and the, the heart or the main kind of point of the Guyagaba Tantra is the indivisibility of purity and equality, or in, we can say inseparable purity and equality. That's like the main point of the Guyagaba Tantra, uh, which is the basis for a garland of views. What that means to say the inseparability of purity and equality, uh, that is referring to the fact that all phenomena, all things are Buddha, they are awakened, they are enlightened, right here and now. Uh, so when we say all phenomena, we're referring to the five aggregates, the five elements, and so on, all things. The five aggregates that make up our being, these are primordially, uh, spontaneously, the five male Buddhas. The five elements of uh, earth, water, fire, wind, and space, these are the five female Buddhas by their very nature. Um, wherever you are in the world, the environment is made up of these five elements, right? Whether you're here in Australia, whether you're in uh, another part of the world. Um, our bodies, our physical bodies, are also made up of these five elements. And these five elements are primordially and right now the five female Buddhas. The Guyagaba Tantra um, opens with uh, lines that basically state this fact. Um, they say, Emaho, how wonderful. All things are primordially, primordially Buddha, um, and so on. I can't translate the, the lines from Shiva recited. But, um, when you 
uh, other vehicles, so the lower vehicles, uh, do not understand uh, this profound point. Um, they lack this, yeah, this outlook and, and understanding. Um, when you, so from this point of view, um, from this angle, so to speak, then we can see by virtue of comparison um, the differences then between the lower vehicles, right? So if you're kind of give, if you're introduced to this uh, overriding perspective, this, this highest overriding perspective from the beginning, from that perspective, you can then see the different the differences and distinguish between the lower vehicles, right? Sadin do not a delicious word and the shoe which is here where they do some one in but under Aranzo Chuju Monsella de Ma, soon get on a gap, get you good to you, the position put together. Didn't I sing the song in Will and the long time with the Chang and Issue? That is something in the Mara Shegosunang Issue, Shegi, Marilla Shena, Tuzo get a ten dog, Sanga Marie Logic, the residuals. Didn't do not a ship you tell us Grand Tauson and then Duncan in the Surrey. Children was selling Potagi, you said, and someone in which they were selling Potagi, you said, like as a person. The children was selling you one and the Zog and Nanga Tanja Pem make a castle with your son Jerry. Gugging over two chicks again and bed and a girded tower, Gomba, Tinkor, Tuba, and in Chaja, Lazo, Latin, and it does not tower on them to be catching. This is some chicken matters were at the reported tower on them to be catching the other. The Tinsu Gawa she was on like as a tail tower, Matoke, mean the net in Churching in Asia to Kay and Marilla. ま、<音楽><音楽> Lam tos taranati pe naransuena, lam norte by imbachi, te dugir, te indu mengatin na ti dugirela, you to someone in banana and tisun shower. Tindu, the menga de shall take give a shake in the neck, come as a gugging over chuchi and the shake of Alas of Batan. The ning around the give to someone in banana canson de Shenjutsing and Ginger with some two to take you and Ken the name in the Tujan to come to our Zinger with Ching to talk, said the name of Gushi with Singy Tawa. อ๋อเจนจิกวิเซนกอมบาเนนี่ยามสลานเนนติวทัตุซานจิกอบันทุกจูเซเตติเนยสุงชาเรเตติเนยสุงชาเรเตติเนยสุงชาเรเตติเน
Kur'an gitti ne kurba? Nesul Kur'an ne? Sanki yiyin bu zikrini red ediyoruz. Şimdi kalıp gurun bu çeke kan son 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 du sana. Çöğü tam ki yiyin ne? Sanki gibrit ne pat deyiz. Çöğü tam ki yiyin sanki deyiz. Gurun bir son. Tiyi son bir o tiyi deyin ki son yiyin. Lundan menatan galva yanmalıyım lağız. Tiyi lundan galva yanmalı. Menatan galva yanmalı. Lungla yan yiyoruz. Tiyi sanki çöğüm de dekkan ana yiyoruz. Çöğü tam ki yiyin ne? Mengadan galva yang maris, lami ke mengad sung ini kan suya, tapi mige tak tanda tak tanda kalau tu sih kita mengad ke suri sih kuyar, mengad sih kuyar, mana kasih saya tapi mige tak, dia itu kala dia tan galva yang maris, lung tan mengad lah tempa yang maris, lung mana tawaran je maim betul, mengad maim na tawaran je maim betul, dia maris ko lung yo nanda mana nanda, mengad yo nanda mana nanda, dia ni tu nanti tanya tempa irming awal itu yaris. Oh ya, tadi dia hak kau ni, ni lu ketawa ngisi kau ni, dia hak kau ni. Tadi lam ti la ti la ti, alam tu kau ni ke meditation cia sana dah gom jab ni, ti ni alam tu nyam selang wai na. Ti cuit am jen ni lu yang tapa ti la ti ni, tolong cuit am ti ni gom ti am pem mige ti ni alam tu ina, tal suk cembu. Oh ya, beri bangau tu kan, lam ti am jopa yunut tu jen, sanji kau mau tu tu kau re. Tadi di, cepat orang mana sih yang dah ni cepat pasul ti, ti ni sih entah jores. ดูสิเป็นธรรมะดีอ่าธรรมะดีอะไรธรรมะดีตอนนี้ค่ะกันตรังกีอ๋ออะไรแต่ที่เขียนตอนนี้เดี๋ยวว่าอีรมีที่เ
Um, so that's why it's so important to come to understand this, this summit of perspectives, this pure, uh, inseparability of purity and equality. Um, like I said, how to do that is to study the Guyogaba Tantra, um, and I've heard that many of its commentaries, including Longchamba's commentary, Dispelling Darkness in the Ten Directions, have been translated into English. So uh, you can engage in further study if you wish. I'm sort of placing this in your hands, right? Um, hopefully those texts have been translated properly. I trust that they have been. But you can translate texts um, just on a literal word level and or, or on a, according to their meaning, right? Um, and the, yeah, the quality will vary accordingly. But I, I trust that they've been translated well. The very, so I won't go into further details, but just to reiterate, the crux or the heart point, the key point here is the inseparability, inseparability of purity and equality. Um, and this, uh, the kind of, how do we justify that perspective? We justify it by identifying the fact that all sentient beings are endowed with Buddha nature. That is their basic nature, the very fiber of their being. Uh, that is the, the unchanging state of all beings. Um, it's not, Buddha nature is not something that is created or fabricated or manufactured. Um, a good analogy for understanding this, uh, because you might think, well, how can that be the case if it's, if like primordially our nature is awakened, why haven't we realized it? You know, how can our experience be in contradiction with our, what apparently is our basic nature? Well, an, an analogy, a good analogy for this is modern science. These days, um, all sorts of uh, scientific so-called dis discoveries are being made, but these discoveries are not inventions, right? So for instance, a century ago, or, or say like, yeah, we didn't have cars or airplanes or the internet or live streaming, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, These are new, we can say inventions, but it's, these have been created based on the nature of things, the nature of phenomena. Science have studied phenomena, come to understand how they work, and then in accordance with the way things work, they've been able to assemble these new things, right? It's not like they've created a new principle in reality um, to allow, say, aeroplanes to happen. Um, so the same thing goes with Buddha nature. Buddha nature is just reality it is the nature of things. Whether we've realized it or not, that is how things are. Um, yeah, so we need to come to understand this point that that is our basic nature, primordially from beginning this time, we have been awakened, we have Sugata Garbha, and based on that knowledge and, and understanding, then we need to engage in practice, right? So our, our practice, whether it be of Maha Yoga, Anu Yoga, whatever level, should be informed by that understanding. Um, and then, yeah, and so when we talk about attaining enlightenment, attaining enlightenment is simply coming to realize our basic nature, returning to our basic nature. We're not kind of praying for some new state to come into being, praying to kind of create or bring about something new, um, not at all. Just bear with me why I try to find a quotation. Gurum so that, um, to paraphrase, uh, Guru Mishay said, all phenomena are primordially awakened. All things are primordially Buddha. This is not in contradiction with the scriptures and the pith instructions. It is also not something that is created anew based on scriptures and instructions. These are... That's what it is. So we uh, just finished, come to the end of this first session, but I... First of all, I want to tell you a short story. 
So, um, this sutra, uh, Sutra of Shariputra, mm -hmm. contains a, um, it's actually quite a long um, kind of account of uh, something that happened. I'll just condense it. Um, so, in short, Shariputra, Buddha's disciple, um, met with another disciple of Buddha who was actually a god, but had descended from uh, his god realm uh, to see Buddha. So this disciple was called uh, Tsalpa Ralpachin. Tsal Ralpachin. So he and, um, Sharip he and Shariputra were discussing, uh, and Shariputra said to him, why is it, you know, all other Buddhas have really pure realms, like really pure, clean, delightful uh, realms, but our Buddha, Buddha Shakyamuni, his realm is you know, so impure, so dirty, so imperfect, and the uh, God disciple said, Shariputra, what are you talking about? This is an absolutely divine, pure place. 
you know, there's no impurity here, there's no, um, yeah, there's no impurity here whatsoever. And uh, Shariputra couldn't swallow that and they got into a disagreement. They couldn't figure out whose perception was correct. So they said, well, fine, let's go to Buddha and ask him who's correct. Um, you know, what really is the nature of this, this realm, this land of Buddha Shakyamuni? So they, they went to see Buddha Shakyamuni and told him what had happened. And Buddha simply snapped his finger. They, they said, Buddha, basically, please show us, uh, tell us, what is the real nature of your realm, like your surroundings? And he snapped his finger, and with that, um, to Char in Chariputra's perception as well, a completely pure, divine uh, land, free of any impurity, any imperfection, just yeah, we won't go into much description, but basically an absolutely pure, perfect realm was revealed to Shariputra's eyes. And he was blown away. He couldn't believe it, and he was so delighted. Um, Shari, um, Buddha then said to Shariputra, he said, So Shariputra, tell me, um, if you have a blind person and they cannot see, is that the fault of the blind person or is that the fault of the sun? Tell me. And Shariputra said, Oh, it is the fault of the blind person, the, the fault of their, the shortcoming of their eyes, not the shortcoming of the sun. And Buddha said, yes, so with regards to my, the nature of my realm and your perception of it, it's just like that. So even in the sutras, even at the level of sutras, we can find direct, uh, explicit statements showing us that actually all phenomena are primordially, naturally pure by their very nature. Um, so this, yeah, this story we find in the sutras um, is an illustration of boundless purity. Um, nevertheless, even though we have it right there, a lot of people will hear this story and still not believe it. But even if you don't believe it, it doesn't mean it's not true. That is how things are. And we'll stop, uh, we'll pause here. Tapasumki <laughs> So we now have uh, direct uh, statements from Guru Rinpoche and Buddha Shakyamuni both. Uh, telling us that all things are by nature pure right here and now. What more do we need? If you do want more, there is more to be had. In the Tantras, you can find um, uh, logical reasonings such as the four realizations um, and many more, Rimshi listed many more sets of reasonings, logical reasonings that actually establish um, the primordial purity of all things. Um, yeah, I won't... Uh, go through those. Um, and and Rumi, she said, um, I, of course, I won't, yeah, we won't go into those. Uh, you won't be able to grasp the reasonings straight away, you know, just in this short period of time. Um, but there are those reasonings, so you can follow them up if you wish. Uh, but essentially, uh, what we need to understand is that all things are primordially pure, right here, right now. This is stated and pointed out by Buddha Shakyamuni and Guru Rinpoche. We need to understand that this is how it is. We need to gain certainty and conviction in that fact. And with that conviction, based on that conviction, then engage in practice. And if we do so, if we practice deity yoga, mantra recitation and so on, with that conviction, 
uh, confidence in primordial purity, then our practice will indeed be very powerful and very, very effective. And we'll pause here. So uh, we'll pause here and then we'll resume in an hour and a half, isn't it? And continue. So Namdi Tamjizu Banyi Tumning if you don't want to link a gun that she belongs to by it, the beautiful and low art of a show, and the key which are them due to put you in the tent 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 to put you Then by hearing the new trashy show, the mirror, no one gets so much in the new machine that the gym can get some of the new shit and to the gish. One get to get with them by the short of Monday to give you a cable to my young coaching to sit with them with some good job show. The other to bang, go on to some kid about the sun get and just about them to get here. So young, so long, I don't chip to you in the back of the sun, you keep it debit to pitch them with the petition that you could see on the other thing. No, you can put on a share of it. Sapsanglan Jürçin bünyemden yerine Türkiye'de yerine.